Hey, what's up? This has been your boy, the Rat Gamer X, and I want to touch on a little topic that I've noticed in video game, video game in a couple of years now, which I guess to an extent kind of triggers me. Like, I'm not going to say, like, I'm not going to be that whiny kid that gets triggered about every little thing, knit knack. But there's been something that's been on my mind, and I've noticed. So now that we have the PlayStation 5 out, it's 2021, I'm recording So they took away a major feature from, from gaming, and I don't think too many of us have noticed or really paid attention. We probably never used it, got to experience it. And no one's really talking about it, but that is 3D in gaming. Yes, 3D. A lot, lot of people are probably like, wow, I didn't even know 3D was in gaming. So, back in 20, 2011, I played Uncharted Collections, where I had Uncharted 2, 3 on the PS3, and probably 1. And the first time I played this game... I played it in 3D. Now I'm playing the Uncharted Nathan Drake's collection right now on PS4. So as a speaking. So yeah, well now we have the 720p. Uh, now we have the 1080p. I should say we have the 4K upscale version of these games, 60 frames or whatever. And it is actually, it's cool. Like I, I, I wanted to see the visual <gasps> upgrades on the PS4 and to me like okay let's be honest 1080p is not really that much of a jump from 720p but um it looks okay right it looks nice it looks um a little newer the remaster but originally I played this game in 3D and when I got the PS4 I was like that's sick I wanna see what 3D looks on this console and as we're speaking right now, there's only a handful of 3D games on the PS4. And when I say handful, I mean like 10, 15, 20, uh, uh, maybe even less. I'm not really sure, but I checked it the other day. There's like a couple of 3D games on the PS4, and most of the games are probably garbage. Like, no like proper Call of Duty FPS type game. Like on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, almost every AAA game had 3D support. And I mean, literally almost every. Like I remember playing this, I remember playing the God of War collection. And none of those games as 3D has been transferred over to PS4 or PS5. Like, it to me, it's so weird to me. It's, um kind of depressing honestly because like it's a good way to experience gaming like i guess now we have the virtual reality thing which is cool but like that that's why i never really got the vr headset is i guess now vr is cool they might implement it in a lot of games they have their own like virtual reality thing going but the fact that they took 3D out which if you get a a new like big budget movie like like the best way to watch it in cinema is probably in 3D right like it's probably like the neatest way to watch it let's be honest but like I'm just so like like just mesmerized the fact that they took such a important feature out in all of these games which is really, really depressing for me. Like, I really don't know why they would take such a good feature. Like, it was, it was just good. Like, if you've never played in Famous One and Two, Uncharted, like, uh, there was RC motors, motors, like in 3D on the PS3. You're missing out. So right now, as I speak, the best way. Up, and Batman, yeah, the best the way to play like all these sense. games to me, like to be honest with you, is on a PlayStation 3. So me I'm gonna cop me a PlayStation 3 real soon, cause 
Right now, as we're speaking, Sony has announced that they're going to close the PlayStation 3 store. And right now, that is a big problem to me and most of the community right now. The fact that they're closing the PS3 store, which is another topic like I really want to touch on, but I really probably shouldn't in this, in, in, in this video, is because now that PSP, PS Vita games and PS3 games are all going to get pushed off the shelf, the question comes, what's going to happen? Like, the fact is, like, if you don't, if you're not downloading your Vita games off the Vita store, you can use your PS3 store. Now, the PS4 has no implementations to buy Vita games off its store or for you to connect your Vita and download the games to the, like the PlayStation 3. Now, I don't know why we had the PS4 a newer console and they, they removed that feature. It feels so weird because right now, as I'm, the PS3 is like a couple generations, it, it's very old right now. And the PS3 is still the best way to play certain games a certain way, like these Fire ones. Tracks. And to me, the still PS3 the is still, like, it like it it's still like has so many here. good features. And the fact that they're going to close that store in the PS3 is going to be hard. Because the fact that they made the PS5 now, and they made the all digital and the CD version. I say any version of any console you're getting, get the CD version. Because if they're going to close these stores... Why the heck should people go all digital? If we go all digital now and they're gonna close the stores, the question is, how are we gonna get the games on these devices? Couple of years from now, when they have their PS5 Pro or PS6 launch, uh, and the PS4 store is closed, and, it, and after they start to close the PS5 store, like, how are we gonna play our PS3 and PS5 games? We're gonna have to do what? Hey, check this out most likely buy the disc right and if you get a all digital ps5 like you're basically screwed like i guess it won't happen for now the ps5 is news but couple years down the line if you really think about this like really sit down and think about it so um it's been a very controversial time for gaming i guess sony's kind of too busy making lots of money in ps5 or whatever because those consoles sell out like as soon as they even get posted like they get sell out in like 20 minutes but i'm just gonna say like I feel like it's kind of turning yeah. into a sad year for gaming for a lot of us. Be yeah, a lot of us, we still like to play our older games. Because these games are good. Like, these games aren't too old. The graphics aren't too bad. And they're honestly some fun games for people that's trying to get into the story. That probably bought Uncharted 4 and stuff. They're trying to play, like, 1 and 2. Or they got into the new God of War. They're trying to play... The first God of War is like, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, this has been a very interesting video. I felt like I needed to talk about this because it's just been pretty weird lately. And I really don't like what's going on. Like, I, I don't like the fact that they removed that feature. I know it sounds like I'm nitpicking, but, like, I'm really not. I'm just talking about some stuff that I've noticed and yeah like I hope they some this video gets to Sony or a little segment of this video they implement 3d back in these games I know it might take a while now because it's probably too late right because the developers would have to add back the features or whatever but yeah, it's crazy. I think 3D died. That it's dying in video games. Well, basically dead. And I don't really know why. I guess maybe they they just focused on the VR thing because it, it's making them more money. But yeah, it's crazy to think about. It's pretty crazy stuff. So yeah, as I'll say right now, the best way to play these games is to get a PS3. So. I'm gonna go back into PS3 gaming and try to get a lot of, I'd say get a lot of storage on all your devices, PSP, PS3, and PS Vita right now, because 
apparently Sony is closing down their stores and I guess that's very upsetting to me right now I mean I guess we all knew it was gonna happen at some point so just get a lot of storage on your devices maybe get your PS3 or SSD upgrade get a terabyte or something and just download up beer games cause now they're gonna close down the stores and stuff and yeah it's like wow what can you do so yeah guys this has been your boy the Red Gamer X and let me know your thoughts in the comment sections and I'll see you guys in the next one. Taken care.